everybody. Thanks so much for coming by the channel today. I finally have, and I say finally because everybody else seems to have gotten theirs, I have my Ipsy bag. This is just my regular March Ipsy Glam bag. I've already done my Glam box um, unboxing, so I'll post that here if anybody wants to go back and look at it. But this is just my regular Glam bag that I think I have three add-ons in, so here's hoping that worked. And I feel compelled before I go any further to tell you See this redness today? I started to not tape because of it, but I thought, you know what? This is the perfect opportunity. I have a new product that I was prepared to love because Tati loves it. And if Tati loves it, I want to love it. But it is the Morphe Continuous Spray Setting Mist. And it's it comes out so lovely. It's just, oh, it's just a fine mist and it's fantastic. Unfortunately, apparently, it makes mama really red. This is, a, oh, and I can smell it. See, this is the second time I've used it, and it's the second time this has happened. And I am a glutton for punishment, so I will probably wait a few more days and try it again to see if it happens again. But it has a lot of fragrance in it. It smell, it feels fantastic, and it smells really, really pretty. But I suspect that that fragrance is the problem. So, that was a quick review on this Morphe sp setting spray as a means to explain why I look like I just took a wet dish rag to my face. Okay, enough about that. Let's get to the Ipsy bag. So, so how's everybody doing out there? Are you ready for spring? I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to reach in and I'm just going to take out what's on the outside of the bag because that should be my add-ons. And yes, there are three things, so I feel quite optimistic. So the three add-ons that I did, and we'll do those first because I know what they are, are the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsession. In my Glam Plus box, I got the Smoky Obsession. And that worked really well because before I knew what was in my Glam Plus box, I got the thing to do my add-ons and I saw this and I did it as an add-on. And then I found out that we were gonna get one of these palettes in our Glam Plus, but as it worked out, I got the Smoky. And so this one is, oh, this one is the mauve. It's so pretty. You know, I love the cool colors. I just love them. Let's, let's watch a couple. Let's do this nice. Oh, they're so creamy. And, you know, I'll just put a few on here and it's so pretty. Do this one below it. Okay, I went ahead and took the time to swatch the whole palette because it is gorgeous. So here it is on my arm, just in the way that it's in the palette, I went across and down, you know. Ch -ch -ch. So they're just, so. I hope you can see that, they're so pretty. The lighter ones, I'm so white that the lighter ones are hard to see on my skin. Like see this mi missing patch here? I promise you that <laughs> this white color that would show up on anybody else in the world is right there in that missing patch, but they're so pretty. I just knew I would love the mauve palette and the Huda is such a creamy formula. I love it. Okay, so my next add-on is a brush because when they offer a $3 brush add-on, oh, the Huda add-on was $12. I'm just gonna get it. Okay, this, oh, this is another one of the SLS Miss Glams and it's so pretty. It's got the sparkly handle the little sparkles in it and she's put the two little gems at the top and this is just a little smudger brush that I thought would be perfect for doing along the bottom line or or cleaning up after I put them on, on too much brow whatever I just loved it I just love the SLS Miss Glams and they're so pretty and last but not least I got a another highlighter Highlighter is something that I managed to live a good deal of my life without, never even knowing that I was missing a darn thing. And now I know about them and I wanna rub them all over my face. I know, it's not a great look. I just love them. This is the Ofra Highlighter in Star Island. It's so pretty. This looks like it might be really close to the same color that's in my trio. Oh, I don't want to put one of my... Oh, they're so creamy and sparkly and nice. You can just, they just have such great shine. My goodness, look at that. Ooh. But they just, oh, look at that pop. I 
can't tell you. I love a great highlighter these days. It's just what I love. And we seem to be getting a million of them in our boxes, but I'm telling you what, it's made me learn to discern what I do and do not care for in a highlighter. The one we got in our Cover FX palette that from BoxyLux, I love it. It's far more subtle. Um, the Sunbeam, the Benefit Sunbeam that I got that's gold, it's liquid and I can't work out where to use it. Okay, so let's move on back to the Ipsy bag and see what the actual Ipsy bag looks like. Oh, it's pretty. I've seen a couple of these, so I knew kind of what to expect. It says, and off she went to change the world. And it's a gorgeous rose gold with a little blue zipper on top with a little star. So cute. Okay, let's get in here and see what I've got in here. I could feel it. It's another brush. You know, I have this brush. I have this brush a million times over. I am starting to put together a giveaway because I am quickly approaching 250. And I know people do a lot of people do 100 or 200, but I thought I would do a 250 subscriber giveaway and I'd call it my quarter K giveaway. I know, quarter K. It's going to take me forever to get to a thousand. So we're going to go slow and go quarter K giveaway. So I will add this to that because this is a brush size that I have a lot of. So yeah, but it is, oh, you know what? I didn't get it. Oh yeah, I did. I was going to tell you who this brush was by, but I just found the card. Get my glasses out and see what our card says here. It's National Women's History Month. And on the inside, it tells me everything that's in the back. So this brush is a Royal and Lang Nickel Chic Rose Gold Blush Brush. That is a lot of words for a brush. They don't tell you what the value is in the Ipsy bag, but that's fine. Okay, let's see what's next. Something wrapped up. Love little wrapped up things. It is Space Case Cosmetics. Let's see what it is. I can't see on the outside. I have seen other people with Space Case eyeshadows, so that's probably what this is. It is. I have actually seen people unbox this. It is the Space Case Cosmetics Messy Loch Nessy. And it is a pretty little, I'm just going to open it and show you because it is a green. And A, I don't use many greens, and B, I really stick to palettes these days. So I'm gonna close her ever so gently back up, slide her back into her box. We'll put her over here with the brush, and now I have two things in that giveaway already. This is getting exciting. Let's see what it says about that. It says that it's a forest green shade with gold flecks that can be applied wet or dry with your finger or brush, and it's highly pigmented and goes on like butter. That sounds promising. Okay, this is the Man Eater by Tarte Mascara. I have never tried that, so I am going to try. So I'm going to try this one. Let's see what the brush looks like. I know, I said I was going to. I love these brushes. I love it when they're just a flat brush. That is a huge. Can you see that it comes to here? There's a huge brush on that tiny little stick. But I'll give that a try because I always, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, was my hands down favorite. This says that the that Tarte is committed to creating products that are cruelty free and made with good for you ingredients. This inky black formula features a flexible brush that coats even your teeniest lashes. Jojoba and carnauba wax strengthen and protect your lashes and help prevent flaking. So that's pretty cool. I do, like I said, I love trying new mascaras. So put that one over here and we'll see what's next. Next we have the Trisola Hydrate Intense Hydrating Mask. Mask for what, my face or my hair? This says, this brand's all about healthy and hydrating products that will give your hair, now we know, I know where to use it, I will not be using it inappropriately. Give your hair life. Made with nourishing essential oils, this moisturizing treatment improves texture, elasticity, and bounce. You'll have less breakage, plus it's sulfate, phosphate, and paraben free. So that's awesome. I will definitely try that. It's just a, oh, it's safety seal. Well, I'm going to go ahead, it's just going to be a cream. I'm going to go ahead and leave it sealed until I'm ready to use it. So. All right, very cool. And I think, yeah, last but not least, I have Cake Naturally Luxe Beauty Milk Made Totally to Die For Velveteen, Velveteen Hand Cream. Candied Oat Milk Cream Dry Skin Soothing and Beautifying. That's a lot of words for a hand cream. That's a pretty good size though. It says, well, it says it's an ounce, but it feels like it's a pretty big size. The 
paper says that it is a sweet smelling cream infused with oat milk, concentrate, and marshmallow root extract. It's slowly whipped to give it a lightweight, airy texture that absorbs quickly into your skin and leaves your hands soft and smooth. Bonus, it smells like a jelly donut. Well, let's see. Put a little bit on here. Oh, it's thick. Maybe it has a safety seal. <laughs> Hang tight. Yeah, <laughs> safety seal. Not nearly as thick as I thought. Okay, <laughs> let's give this another shot. Oh, we have a better shot of getting it to come out now. Oh yeah, just nice. Just nice and creamy. It smells less like a jelly donut to me than it does like a jelly bean. It smells kind of like a, I say purple jelly bean. Does that take you into a sense memory? I don't love jelly beans, so it does me. But this smells nice. I will absolutely use the hand cream. But yeah, I get the jelly part. I just think jelly bean instead of jelly donuts. But whenever, <laughs> I don't personally know anybody my age or younger. And I'm, I know I'm going to get a million comments underneath. And feel free. Bring them at me. I can handle it. I, I don't know anybody my age or younger. I always tease my mom that nobody, once her generation dies out, the jelly donut's going to go away. And whenever we see something that I refer to as arcane or old, I say, yeah, that's a jelly donut. Meaning it's going away soon because who eats jelly donuts anymore? Like I said, I know a million of you are getting ready to tell me you do. And go ahead. It will harm my feelings. Okay, so that is it for my Ipsy bag. So I received the Milk Made Cake Lotion, the Space Case Eyeshadow that I'm gonna go ahead and put into my giveaway that I'm working towards, the blush brush that I am also going to put into the giveaway, the Trisola Hair Mask, the Man Eater Mascara, which I will be giving a try and I will let you know how that works out. And then my add-ons were the SLS Miss Glam brush, and man, I do love these brushes. Love them. The Ofra Star Island Highlighter, and the Piece de Resistance, the Huda Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. So like I said, the add-ons generally come out on the second of each month at like 9 a.m. Eastern, I think, and they go quickly. And there are $12 and there are $12 items, like this Huda Beauty was a $12 add-on, but it's like a $27 palette, so still a great buy. And then there are $3 add-ons, and I got the Ofra highlighter and the brush for $3. So they're great deals. All right, guys, thanks for coming by. Sorry if that got a little long. So please forgive my redness, and we'll try not to blame that morphe yet too much. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I put more unboxings or reviews up, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!